and welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you some of the products that I would recommend for you and I'm going to get started. I've contributed these products into groups. So I've got face, eyes, lips, um, blushes, bronzers, face powders, nails as well. So I'm going to start off head to toe. <laughs> Um, so first off I have face products, the 17 Get Even Bouncing Foundation. I really find this foundation to be very nice, does actually even out this redness on your face. I didn't use it today, but I love this foundation. If I could buy it again, then I would, and I did include it in my monthly favourites, which is up on my channel, so check that out now. Next is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation. So everyone raves about this foundation, well they did for a while, you need about one to two pumps on your hand, maybe more, maybe about three to do your whole face. I find that it gives really good coverage and I definitely would buy it again, I love the coverage of that as well. Next foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me range and I'm in the shade 310 which I did include this I think in my monthly favourites. I love that this foundation gives very good coverage for redness and things. don't really have any acne to contribute to because I don't have any so I can't really say how long that lasts and the lasting wear through these for the whole day. Concealers. I do have quite a few concealers. The first is the Maybelline Fit Me range. This is a really nice concealer. I like the way that it conceals any marks or things that I have. Just really loving that. Another concealer that I really enjoy using is the Essence 3 and 1 Forget It Concealer Wheel. It does have three colours. Everyone raves about this. Well, they have done. I know a lot of people have this as well. So that's what the colour wheel looks like. You can reduce redness under eye circles and blemishes as well. Also, um, another quick concealer palette is this one which costs under five dollars from eBay, depends where you look. Um, who you if you actually have a look um in by the first thing you see, you have fifteen gorgeous shades. So you've got shades that will definitely get rid of redness and things like that. So you've got the white, the green and the pink purple shades. And then you've got shades here to um counteract with anything. So if you are really tanned you can go for some of the darker colours. If you're dark skinned then you can go for the darker colours. I find that these work pretty well for me. Um, you just got to really get into them and just um, use your finger and just try and get as much product as you can. Um, you'll know when enough product is enough and that will do you for your makeup. I'm not sure how long these last. Like I said, I'm definitely going to be reviewing one of these products for a week or two and I'm definitely going to share with you my thoughts. Base powders. My first face powder that I enjoy using is the Bow Cosmetics Compact Powder and I'm in the shade Medium. It's only $2 from Big W, I don't know if you can get it anywhere else, but I think for $2 that whole range is amazing. When I first tried it out I was in love with it. I definitely do have a huge stock full in my makeup drawer, so and it's really cheap so I can obviously afford to stock up on it. Next one is Natio. I obviously enjoyed this. have hit pan on this because this is one of my favourite powders. came in the Beauties in the Bag last year from Priceline and this is what the front of it looks like for those of you that don't know. And I'm in the shade Light to Medium. Really, really, really enjoying this product. I would definitely buy it again if I could find it. Don't really go shopping much in Priceline considering the store that was close to me closed down which sucks, but um, I know a few other stores that do sell it, so, well, the Natio brand anyway. The powder to go with all the Fit Me range is the Fit Me powder in the shade 220. I purchased this because I wanted to try out the whole range, and it does come with a little Maybelline sponge. I tried it out a little bit. I didn't use it for today, but that's what the powder looks like. And while we're on face, I'm going to share with you some blushes and bronzes. The first one is the Maybelline Mineral Powder, Power in Gentle. This is a loose powder dust, and I do love the colour on this. It does give a nice 
little glow to the face. Excuse me, instead of having, you know, it's full on cover. Really good. I have been looking for this for ages. I did see it once and I'm like, no, I'm not going to buy it. And once I couldn't find it ever again. So the next time I saw it, I'm like, damn, I'm buying it. Next is this Designer Brands Duo Blush and Bronzer. These colours aren't coming up as perfect as they are, but I find this really versatile. It has two colours in there, which you know you can only, if you want to, just take this whole thing and put it in your purse or anything like that. Really versatile and I find it to be one of my favourite products. I don't know if you can actually get this from Designer Brands because I did get it out of a magazine, but if I can find it anywhere, I will let you know and put links down below. Next is the Essence Sun Club Blonde Bronzer. So there was, um, I don't know if they still have it, but there is a blonde and brunette bronzer. This one is a bit lighter for blonde because they do have lighter skin. Works really nice on the skin. Um, it's a massive bronzer and it is in the shade 01 Natural. So this here is the whole package. But I really love the imprint on it too. Don't really use bronzer much, but definitely during the cooler seasons, um, I definitely will be trying that out. Next, I'm going to go into the eyes, and I have four favourite mascaras of mine. My first favourite one that I've tried out was the Astralis Killer Curves, and I love the way that this mascara brings out your lashes. It just separates them really nicely, no clumps. I just love the brush. It was one of my first favourite mascaras ever, and I do want to try some more, more mascaras from the Astralis range. My next favourite happens to be the Lash Architect 4D, which I purchased a long time ago now. I do have doubles. So this is what the brush looks like. And I got it out of a pack from Priceline. Next is the Volume Express Lift Up Mascara by Maybelline. This has definitely been in quite a few of my favourites. And I did actually purchase this from Woolworths because you received a free eyelash cover which I love better than the eyelash cover that I first purchased. I love the way that this one also lengthens and separates your lashes. One of my best mascaras yet. And the last mascara that I have is the Max Factor Experience Volume Mascara. Like I said in... No, actually. This mascara came out of the Beauties in the Bag sale from Priceline. Eyeliner has definitely, liquid liner has got to be the Maybelline Must Precise Liquid Liner. And everyone has this. So I'm pretty sure everyone has seen it around. Really enjoy using it. It's great for first time users who don't know how to actually use liquid eyeliner out of the pot. This is a really great tool. It's small, it's handy, it glides on really nicely one of my favourite liquid liners when I choose to wear it. Um, next I'm going to be going on to palettes. So I have quite a few palettes here. First I have some de designer brand shadows which I purchased ages ago in in um, Chemist Warehouse. So this here is the first palette and this one has 48 shadows I think it was and they're all shimmery shades. Yeah, I did purchase this from Chemist Warehouse. I purchased it because it was ten dollars. I don't really use it as much, but it's great because it has a lot of shimmery shades. And if you're into shimmery eyeshadows, then this definitely is the palette for you, especially if you're beginning. Um, if you want to experiment with colors, then this really isn't that expensive, depending where you look. Next, I have the matte palette in the same colors as the one that I just showed you. So is there other colours and they have really nice shades. I love all of the shades, especially the neutrals on the side here. This palette, like I said, is great for beginners. If you want to experiment with some colours and things, then that is great for you. So out of the eyeshadows, I have the 120 palette, which I love using. Picked this up from eBay. Um, it's the first edition. I'm just going to show you the first layer. They obviously have 120 colours. Pretty good pigmentation, I find. These are the colours there. I only got it for less than 
I think ten yeah, ten dollars. Um if you type in one twenty eyeshadow um eyeshadow set you will come up and just have a look around and see what you can find. There definitely are cheaper ones for less than well, about ten dollars exactly. Um maybe a little bit less, maybe ten dollars and one cent. Depending where you look, don't just go for the first thing that you see because then you'll look again and you'll see that you were probably ripped off by perhaps um, a more expensive one. Next, this last eyeshadow kit is from the Model Prefer range. This was, I think, one of the first palettes that I had bought. I did see it um, on YouTube. I was looking up Models Prefer. Actually, it was the second per purchase, but first purchase of mine, second um, collection item and this has quite a few eyeshadows and some blushes and bronzes. Those are the colours there. I find this also to be very good for beginners. Something that you could just have, it's pretty versatile, you have your blushes and bronzes on the bottom and neutrals, colours, colours as well and some lighter pastel colours as well. So I really find that this is a great palette for starting out, um, just because it's so versatile. It depends if you're into palettes, if not, then grab some quads or eyeshadows, there definitely are lots of those around. And also, while, I'm on, while I was on blushes and things, I totally forgot about this one. But this one came off of eBay, and there's 28 colours in here, all gorgeous shades. I think this was less than $7. Um, like I said, I looked around, there probably are different specials now, but there are 28 gorgeous colours in here. There's um, some bronzes and peaches and bright pinks. First of all, I'm going to quickly talk about this hand sanitizer. I enjoy using this hand sanitizer. It is really great consistency. It smells like peppermint, better than the Aquam hand sanitizer. And I did mention this, if I didn't mention it already, in my um, monthly favourite, so go check that out like I said. The Tresemme Heat Taming Spray Protector. I love that this has a really gentle mist, like so. Um, smells great. It'd be good for you know a water bottle if you finished using it. I love the handle on it and the way that it does protect your hair. Have used it a couple times, but not too many because I'm trying to keep heat off my hair. Lip balms. I love using the. Listex Intensive Repair Lip Balm. comes in a pot like this and it reminds me of Vicks. So that's just me. Um, I think it was less than $5. And I like to use this when I remember it and it just soothes your lips. just helps them from stop being dry and cracking. Next is the Baby Lips Glow. This is the darker pink one. And I did use this to start off with but I changed my mind during the end of it and wanted to try something else out. Lip stains. I have a gorgeous lip stain here from Savvy, Savvy by DB. It is in the shade Watermelon and that's what it looks like. So everyone knows how a lip stain works. Um, definitely way different compared to the Revlon Just Bit, Bitten Lip Stains which I'm keen to get my hands on. I did see some from it's Judy time, so I did watch her review and they're interested in having a look at that as well. While we're on sort of lip glossy sort of terms, um, another one of my favourites is the Australis Mint Condition. If you love mint, then this is for you. You give this pretty good colour payoff at the start and a really nice peppermint flavour once you apply it. It's really nice if you love peppermint. If not, then this isn't the product for you, but I enjoy this product. I got this out of a Australis deal that they had going in, I think, Big W. Next, I have three lipsticks, and my first favourite is this Revlon lipstick. I haven't really ever seen a red this gorgeous. Um, it's like a vampire red, and if you want to do a pin-up look, then this will be amazing for you. Um, I got this one out of... The Beauties in the Bag sale got most of my makeup from that, but this is a really nice red. Next is the Inoxa lipstick, and it is a really nice Barbie doll pink. I enjoy using this. This one would be great for um, any human eyes look or some bright look that you might have. 
it's better than the brown one that I've received. And my last most important favourite is the Rimmel lipstick. And it's in the I think Kate Moss, I think her name is, I can't remember. Um, but that's her line. And it's this nice coral lipstick. I can't, um, the shade is number 16. And it reminds me of Nerds. Like Sour Nerds. I don't know if anyone else gets that feeling, but that's my feeling from it. I love the coral colour and it's just simply amazing. Also, I have some nail polishes. First off, I'm going to share with you this One Coat Nail Polish. I got this out of a Christmas um, makeup gift set that I received, um, which was a late present, but still, thank you. Um, yes, you obviously only need one coat, and I was surprised by the name one coat polish. Um, thought it was a joke, but it's not. Really nice. This is a nude colour as well. And to get my nails growing, I try and remember and to not bite them. Um, the Sally Hansen Nail Growth Miracle in gold, and I've used about that much. But when I do want to use it and I want to grow my nails, then I will turn to this. So that there is everything for my favourites that I really wanted to recommend to you. Um, like I said, or I didn't, if I didn't say this, is my my personal opinion. Um, these are things that I would recommend to people. Um, I just absolutely love them and wouldn't mind sharing them with you. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you in my next video.